Uh, so you'll be expecting these kind of questions. So this is an IG pass here. What you do is that, you see, they list it down nicely. They give you, uh, you know, four marks for this part. Okay. So they use the bond energy to show that it's an exothermic. So they actually tell you it's exothermic. Bond energy is the amount of energy in kilojoules per mole to separate it. So bonds broken. Okay. So they start with, you know, energy of breaking or bonds broken. That's not matter. So it's like, you know, there's what CH, one, two, three, four. So there's four CH, okay? So you can put like four, four C dash H, okay? Bonds broken. So four C dash H, one of these is four, one, two. So four of it becomes, oh, a BD, yeah? Very good. One, six, four, eight, good. Then uh, you need to break this. So the idea is, you know, like what I explained just now, you need to break them up, you know? to like you know take the energy and break them up so you split to separate separate things okay so this is cr cr and cr this one two four two so it's just uh, you can just put one times cl cl you just usually we just write cl cl okay so then it becomes like two four two so add together uh, there goes the total energy for breaking so they did not write energy for breaking but this is energy for breaking which is that will give you yeah one eight nine zero, then the bonds are formed. So once you break them apart, so they are floating around. Can okay, imagine floating around? Then you stick them together again okay, like a glue. So when you stick them together, you need this, this, and this is the same energy. So you can say uh, three times CH, okay? So CH is four one two, C times CL. So one times C times CL, right? Then one times CL. Okay, let me not circle the thing to make it. So you just need the energy of the bond. Uh, three times CH. Oh, there's a missing space here. Okay, one, two, three, six. Very good. Then the rest, uh, you just refer here. Very direct, I would say. Okay. You cannot go wrong with these kind of questions. So what's the total energy here? Okay, good. So uh, two, zero, zero, five. That's the total energy. So that's the for bonding. Okay, for bonds are formed. So you know, like I explained just now, this form energy. So... Uh, uh, they say show that it is an exothermic, you know, very easy. So all you have to do uh, is just write down the delta H. I mean, it's up to you. you. want to write energy breaking minus energy forming. I'm sure that does not matter. So make sure you put the numbers correctly. Put that in front and then 2005 at the back. And then voila. Okay. So once again, I remind you, make sure you write the positive and negative in front. This is the critical uh, point. Then negative 115 kilojoules per mole. Okay, so A star student, make sure you write a unit also, kilojoules per mole. So since you get it, I want A star student say, therefore, this reaction is an exothermic reaction. I would say the chances of calculating exothermic is higher than endothermic. <clears throat> okay, so if you understand this, this is how it works. Okay, so uh,